and it's one of Einstein's lesser-known ideas, although a simple cup of coffee can show the principles. Imagine that space is like the coffee inside this cup. As I stir the coffee, it swirls around due to the motion of the spoon. And suppose that I drop an object, like this coffee bean, inside the cup. What's happening is, is that it's not moving through the coffee, but rather it's the coffee that's moving the bean around. This rotating space supplies the boost that's needed to allow an object to break the light speed barrier without violating the laws of physics. Within that rotating region of space, you can travel speeds up to the speed of light. But for someone that's standing outside, it would appear as though you're traveling faster than the speed of light. And for them, you will disappear from sight as you're traveling back into the past. Of course, there is a problem with this kind of time machine, for black holes are not exactly readily available. However, this is where Ron had a stroke of inspiration. He realized that hidden in Einstein's theory all along, there was something that could be even better at twisting space. Light itself. It turns out that light is much more effective at twisting space and time. And so my idea is to use a circulating light beam to twist space and close time into a loop. The key technical challenge is trying to get enough laser power to cause this twisting of space and time. That's going to be the key challenge. And we're looking at 